Hello there guys, DJV Games here and I'm back in War Thunder and with good old Hawkins again. Um, so we're in the Spitfire Mark 1 I believe. Um, I, think, I think it's Germans again. Yeah, I believe it is. So, um, as you would have seen in the last video in the Typhoon, um, I was with Hawkins. So, I'm not sure what we're talking about here. Oh yeah, I was just telling him about the War Thunder community because obviously um, I was talking to this guy on the War from the forums, but he wasn't sure of War from the Live. So, anyway, so it's usual 10 degrees as I always climb. It's just, uh, I'm not saying it's a, a, the perfect way to fly, I just, it's my paranoia about it. Fly at 10 degrees or 5 degrees. Um, or level, obviously. Obviously, when I'm in combat, it doesn't really matter. When I leave combat, it's 10 degrees. Degrees, I don't know why. So, um, I'm just having a look around here as we go up this side. Um, and we're just we're playing spot the dot. So, yeah, as you can see, he's seeing imaginary dots um, because he's not cleaned his screen. Oh, he's, that's a good tactic, by the way. If I do it myself, I just clean your screen. Watch, make sure you use a, a decent um, screen cleaner. You don't want any. Um, smudges or anything. So in this battle we've got a couple of guys who are higher up. They're both PBYs. Um, there's a F2A I think as well. Who's up there? So this is a, um, an interesting battle really. So anyway we turn right as we do. When we get to about halfway point we turn right. So obviously um, if they've just flown straight forward they'll bump into um, the other guys first, and then we can engage. Them. So we spot a couple of dots, as you can see. I mean, I say there's two, and then there's another one that pops up. One flies off after this guy on the right, and then there's one still over there. And two guys pop up at the bottom. So, so basically, they're all over. Now we've got a lot of guys really locked down. So I'm thinking, right, what? Who do I pick here? Is that guy? And I'm like, wow. There's an SBD of all four on a binary on our airfield. How long is this battle been going on? So I decide um, to go for this guy because I think if I don't get him, he's going to strafe the airfield. Um, now, when I'm typing this, I'm realising that's actually flying towards me. And now, this is what I class as my best move ever so far. So I see him, I climb above him, I do a loop, dodge them bullets, so I know he's stalling. Now I just managed to get it right. I stole myself. And I'm just straight on his tail. A couple of shots into him. Get that power up so I don't drop. Aim. Aim. Boom. He's on fire. Now, I mean, I've done some good moves, but my best on video is probably that one. And how it came off that well, I mean. I'm not sure. <laughs> Normally, when um, I do the loop, they, they tend to be further away um, when I recover from the loop. But I managed just to do it at the right speed and altitude that he managed to slow down enough so that I wasn't far behind him. Anyway, so carrying on, I've got a couple of guys swaying for you. I'm starting to go down and I realise right, that if I go after that guy, he'll be on my tail. Um, and I didn't want that. So. I dive on this guy. No throttle. Don't want to dive too quick. Couple of hits. Just trying to snipe him. Well, it's, I won't say it's sniping because of distance, but you know, I'm just using low fire. So I'm watching him. I'm losing a little bit, but I spot his smoke. Nice giveaway. So, increase my throttle so I don't lose him. Obviously, you can lose guys like that with using no throttle, but you lower the risk of um, breaking your wings, etc. So, this guy, he, 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 he knows he's getting chased. So, he, he, takes, he takes a battle law. Now, I'm trying to conserve ammo. Um, and these little bursts, I'm not doing much, and that can get frustrating. So, I'm just sort of holding it down a little bit longer. Try not to panic. Don't want to crash into the trees. So 
So I'll slow it down a little bit. And I'm gonna go. With it. When's he dying? See, mate's all over me as well. So I'm not shooting. Could fly by Hawkins anyway. He likes to get up and close. So I thought he was going to crash into a tree then, but he didn't, he managed to avoid it. That's why he went high. So I stuck a couple more bullets into him. Climb, catching him up too quick. And then I have another go. I think this is where his engine goes. Yeah, see his uh, propeller going? Boom. So I pronounce he's dead, so there's no um, stealing. Um, boom, there you go. So that's two. Right, so where's the next guy? Have a look around. Mm -hmm. right, let's do Korea. Easy target. Yes, they are easy targets. People, they're actually very agile, so they should do more dodging, to be honest. Now, I'm cutting him off as Hawkins chases on his tail. And I think he managed to hit Hawkins. Yeah, he does. Now, I've noticed again how close we are to the airfield. So I'm like, I've got to get this guy. I've got to get him. Pretty clear. Lost his tail. More hits. Keep going into it. Break off. There we go. So, dive back on him. <gasps> no! <laughs> it does happen. Um, so, you know, you got to make a joke about it. There's no part of calling people or and stuff like that. I mean, it's tends to be purely accident. If it's arcade, probably not. Um, so the JU-87s go straight on me, I'm like, uh oh, because I know he can do damage, and he's shooting at me. So, boom, do as much damage as I can, used all my ammo, so I can't go back to base. I was like, will I make it? Who knows. So, flying back, I know there's one guy, two guys left. I think there's one guy left. No, oh, there's got to be two because the 110's just shot a guy down. And the ball fought. Yeah, but he's just been shot down as well. Right, so now I think it's just the Stuka left. So I need to head back to base. So, as you can see, I'll do that. So, after enough frills landing, um, I'm back in the air and I'm heading towards the last guy. Now, the next, this kind of thing annoys me. Um, okay, air bases. What can you do? So, I managed to um, up here. The other two ways heading back to base because he's been damaged. So, it's just me and the Stuka left. So, I'm thinking, oh, I know where he is. And we know what happened in the last battle. So I'm thinking, right, I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful here. So I'm just weighing up my options. I'm like, is he actually on the airfield? Hmm, I think he is. Just have a little look at that clump of um, enemy vehicles down there. I was actually tempted to just go and get some ground kills there. Because that little group would have made some easy. But I thought, no, no. I'll just go and get this guy. So I'm getting a couple of shots. Now, what I do here is... I think it was a bit stupid. Um, I was just saying hello to that guy, but I could have been pilot sniped by one of ground vehicles doing that, exposing my cockpit like that. So I'm thinking, what do I do? Do I go in hot? Do I go in fast? Um, or do I try and climb and then come down at a steeper angle? So I'm not sure. I'm sort of stuck in two minds because AAA on the airfield is killer. So. I think it starts to shoot at me now. I'm just double checking where he is. He's like, yeah, that's where he is. So I've climbed a little, and then this side. Hmm. No. So it's a HE 111 that's left. Um, not a Stuka. So I'm not sure where the Stuka ended up. Um, so I'm like, right, I'll wait for it to take off. Sod the airfield. Don't need to engage. I'll just fly off, let him take off, and then I realise he knows that that's not going to happen. 
Because what's he doing? Have a guess. He's circling his base so that the AA will shoot me down. Which is a perfectly legitimate tactic, to be honest. If you've got AA, you might as well use it. I've done it um, in extreme situations. Say uh, I had my first win of the day bonus and I'd had a good game. Otherwise, I would just deliberately crash. <laughs> I said that I had a bad game on the last game. Um, so I'm trying to right, dodge all these. See if we can get him. Alright, right, he's turning. See if we can kill that one. No, it was quite a hit. Couple of bullets. Oh no, he's got me again. No. <sighs> two. Two kills for me, eh? It absolutely hates me. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm I'm learning how to avoid being in a dogfight. Um and trying to outmaneuver planes, but <laughs> there's nothing you can do with AA, not if they're going to base hug, as I call it, um, and camp at their base so that the AA will hopefully kill me. Um, so I tell the guy what to do to try and win because I know he's just going to camp the airfield, um, and I think we won that battle in the end because I, I do leave it. I'm not prepared to wait. So thank you guys for watching, and bye for now.